What's up guys? The day has finally arrived. I have the proof in my hands that I'm valuable as a human being. For the first time in my 36 years on this planet, I have accomplished something that is valuable to me, that's meaningful, that has some kind of worth. That's kind of a joke about the Marine Corps, which is fitting because today's Veterans Day and yesterday was the Marine Corps' birthday. Long story short, I did four years in the Marine Corps and I am still more proud of the accomplishment that this video video is about. And on that note, I won't keep you guys hanging. I am here today to show you my 100k silver play button that I just got in the mail yesterday. I am so, so genuinely excited for this because I never thought that I'd accomplish this goal, but I did. I got there after hundreds of hours of work, recording and editing. It is my proud honor to show you this. Uh, no, not that, that's skinny kitty. This bad boy right here, I haven't even opened it yet to look at it for myself. It is pretty cool that it comes in a special YouTube packaging. And so now, without further ado, let's check out my very first and most likely my last silver play button. Okay, so there's a couple of uh, notes in here. Let's see what this says. You did it. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. One million subscribers. Okay, so apparently I got the form letter for the gold play button. <laughs> yeah, it says right here, to honor your incredible milestone, we are proud to present you with the gold creator award. Oh, well, I guess it's better than nothing. It's still cool to have this, you know, it doesn't have my name on it. So it's like, it's not personal or anything, but this on the other hand is incredibly personal. This is my silver play button. Oh cool, it's even reflective, <laughs> let's go. Oh my gosh, let's get it out of the packaging. I cannot wait to hold it in my hand, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. Just Harrison for passing 100,000 subscribers. Whoa, that is so sweet. Let me just get it out of this plastic. Holy guacamole. That is so freaking cool looking. Hi, YouTube. Mom, get the camera. I'm famous now. <laughs> This is so much cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Like I was proud just to have this thing, but the, the way it actually looks and the fact that this is a literal mirror right here, I was not aware of that. This is my number one most prized possession now. So cool. This is probably like a foot tall by about eight inches across. Here's the plate that I eat dinner off of. So this is just a, you know, a normal size plate. Let me put it there for size comparison. So if you ever wondered if a silver play button is bigger than a plate, the answer is yes. So freaking cool, man. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I'm holding this in my hand right now. So it feels like it has felt on the back and uh, it looks like it's got two holes there for easy hanging. Yeah, this is definitely going up on my wall ASAP. You know, I think I'm gonna actually hang this in the bathroom and I'm gonna use it anytime I need to shave or brush my teeth. I might just carry it around in public. So if I ever need to look in the mirror to see if there's something in my teeth after lunch or if anybody wants to know what I do for work, I can just whip this bad boy out and let them know. Yeah, that's right. I'm a YouTuber. All right, take one last good look at this bad boy because I am going to kill two birds with one stone in this video and I am going to also do a house tour because I moved here about three months ago and I never did a proper house tour. I could just do the house tour like this. Like, all right, now we're in the uh, the living room. Here you can see the table and the chair that the cat sits in. Over here is my beautiful bedroom with my bed. Look at that. There's a lamp and a window. No, I'm just messing with you. I went ahead and put the play button down, even though I am probably gonna cuddle with it tonight when I sleep. Now I am gonna do a proper house tour because I know a lot of y'all have been asking and I am very happy with uh, this apartment. It is by far the sweetest place I've ever lived. All right, so starting where all house tours should start, this is the front door. This opens out to my hallway. You can spin right around here and you can see my lovely kitchen. Um, by the way, I am gonna go ahead and give you guys a disclaimer. This apartment is occupied by two cats. So there is cat stuff everywhere. And one of those things is the water bowl. Now this is the walkway from my office uh, straight to my bedroom. And you might be wondering, Harrison, why do you keep a water bowl right in the middle of the walkway? And I have to admit, that's a great question. It is actually not my fault. It is my new cat six. I have the water bowl over there typically, but for some reason she likes to move it every time she drinks out of it. So it's slowly making its way 
way across the apartment. So anyway, as you can see here, lots of cat toys on the ground. This is officially the cat area. I do sometimes sit here just because the cats like to sit on the chairs, so I sit next to them when I pet them. And moving on, right here we have the beautiful, majestic, skinny kitty, literally never sitting there. Well, pretty much never sitting there. Usually that's where Six sits, but she's hiding because I'm walking around the apartment and talking, which is not something that I usually do, so she's scared. And skinny kitty is, is only laying there just because he wants to be in the same room as me. And I've been in here setting up for this video. Here is my bedroom. You might think, oh, this little lump here is a person. Um, you would be wrong. It is just the pillows that I share my bed with. Now, one cool thing that I recently discovered that I have never done in my life is I've been putting my pillows on this end, which is the foot of the bed, and pressing my feet against the headboard. And for whatever reason, it's super comfy. If you guys haven't done that, give it a try. See what I mean? He just wants to be wherever I'm at. All right, now moving on, there's the closet, just a normal American closet. Now I'm gonna make my way over to the creme de la creme room. This is my office. Now this is gonna look a little dirty. This is a panel of uh, audio foam that needs to go on the wall. I have a few of them up in there already. I wasn't using this one. I left it on the ground one day and Skinny Kitty started playing on it and he loved it so much, I just left it here. And he proceeded to just destroy it. He's ripped out the two middle pieces. This is gonna come apart soon. Look at him, he can't wait to go play on it. Looking over here, we have another closet. There's not a lot going on in here, but I wanted to show you this room because Six, which is my new cat, she really likes to nap right there and up there. In fact, she's up there right now. Hi, little baby. Hi. How you doing? I don't like to disturb her because she puts in a lot of effort to get up there. And whenever I come in looking for her, she comes out for some reason. But that's a great place for a cat to nap because it's nice and concealed. There's only one way in, one way out. It's good and dark. Watch her come down. She looks unsure of herself. I've never actually watched her come down. She does it though, so oh, oh, <laughs> she almost went face first into the litter. Come on, baby. Good job. Good job, kitty. Good job. Good job. She's not a big fan of pets just yet. Anyway, getting on to the main part of this room, here is my amazing purple LED bookshelf with all the books that I have definitely read. Oh, speaking of Veterans Day, look at that. There is me in Afghanistan during my first deployment with a United States flag that I carried. And I put it in a frame and gave it to my dad. But when he passed away, I took it back. And here are a couple of characters from my favorite games. We've got TDS right here with the soldier and the turret. And then we have the Fortnite llama and this ice cream dude. Over here is uh, one of the things I've owned the longest. This is a cat tree that I've actually had for pretty much as long as I've had the cats. You can see that Skinny Kitty's favorite place to lay. He uh, can sit up here and just stare out the window, see all the birds flying around or the people walking by with their dogs. Here's the infamous cat cam. Good kitty. Good kitty. Hi. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should make another video that is just the cats. All right, here are the shoes that I like to wear. There's Skinny Kitty's lunch. And here is my uh, other prized possession besides my silver play button, my computer setup for editing and streaming. Originally, when I moved in, I had it over here. But uh, just a few weeks ago, I moved over here and I'm so much happier with this. If you ever happen to watch my live streams, then you might recognize that this is the angle you're seeing me from. So there's my camera. I do have one key light up here just to counter this uh, natural light that comes in these windows. Now this is one of the reasons I like to stream early in the morning is because it gets really really sunny in here later in the afternoon. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon for me right now and even with all of the blinds closed you still have these little windows up above that let the sunlight in. My super sophisticated solution for this because the sun kept coming through these windows while I was sitting here gaming or editing and blinding me. So I just put up a couple of towels. Like would you want to cover up this view if you didn't have to. Here, let me open all these up for you real quick. This setup right here is the number one reason why I chose this apartment complex. I just can't imagine finding another view like this with these big massive windows that sit right in the corner of this room and look out onto the Colorado Rockies out there. You can see those in the distance. It looks really amazing early in the morning because the sun is coming from over this direction and so it really lights them up over there and I can see them really 
really well. I actually pay a little bit more for this unit because of this view. All right, now to finish this tour off, I have my super comfortable Secret Lab chair. Originally, this was my gaming chair, but when Fatty started to get sick, he would sit in it a lot and I didn't want to move him. And so I bought this one and I actually ended up liking this one better. So now Joe just chills in this one all day long. He's got a uh, really soft blanket over his lap. You can see the impression of where uh, Skinny Kitty has been laying. I also have my calendar up here that I use to track uh, different things like uh, when I cut the cat's claws, when I brush them, video ideas. And then I number my uh, YouTube video releases so I can track how many videos I've released each month, make sure I'm keeping up with my quota. I also mark my live streams and I circle days that I go to therapy. And last but not least, I have another really cool bookshelf here full of books and stuff that I have definitely read. But that's all I got for you guys for this video. Hope you enjoyed my house tour. Sorry, I keep looking. I know the camera's here, but I keep looking over here at myself because it's just easier to talk to yourself, right? I just keep thinking, man, that guy's really good looking. But anyway, hope you guys are as excited about my silver play button as I am. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date on what my latest content is. But that's all I got for you. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Good kitty. Good kitty. Peace.